this morning, as I pulled a card to share for this video, I asked what card would most serve people right now? And I pulled the page of ones, which couldn't be more appropriate or more aligned with the current astrology and the energy on the planet right now. So if you're feeling ready for a new chapter to begin, to get your creative juices flowing and to get your motor running again after the slowness of winter, the page of ones guidance could just be what you need to help you get started. So if you'd like to find out more, stay tuned. Hi, it's Kathy here. Welcome to my channel. I make videos on transformation, spirituality, abundance, and how we can make life easier and more enjoyable by looking at it through the lens of the tarot. If you like this video, do please like it and subscribe to get the latest content. So yesterday was Ostara or the spring equinox in the Northern Hemisphere. And that's what marks the start of spring. And it's a whole new start of an astrological year. So that means that we've moved into the fire sign of Aries. And today is a new moon. So even more new beginnings. So I am not an astrologer, but I am super sensitive. And astrological energy really does uh, impact me. So I do like to keep track of the moon and also, you know, just keep an eye on what's going on energetically so that um you know it really helps me manage my energy better and it also often throws a light on why i've been feeling the, the way that i've been feeling so the spring equinox is a time of rebirth and new beginnings after the slumber of winter and it's all about this awakening period an awakening of new vision of new inspiration new creative energy new go-getting energy that's really bold and courageous so like Aries the ones in tarot are connected with the element of fire and the page of wands who represents the energy of inspiration of limitless potential creative vision ideas adventure and discovery so you can see from the card that he's a young man he's well dressed in these brightly colored clothes and he's standing in the middle of a desert and he's got this confident kind of feel to him. He's holding this uh, long staff in both hands and he's looking really inquisitively at the leaves that are sprouting out of the top. So he's inspired by this potential that he sees, but he's, you know, his feet are firmly on the ground. He's not moving, he's solid. And so he's yet to take action. So like the Page of Wands, this is a time to use this new moon and this equinox energy, not to rush ahead, but to look at what you want, to really like, feel into your potential. What do, you, what do you want? What do you want to experience? And also to accept that there's some preparation work and stuff that needs to be cleared before you can start to get any traction. So the qualities of the page of wands. Uh, he is an outgoing visionary youth and he's got loads of enthusiasm, loads of excitement and curiosity. He's quite childlike in his energy. He's a real free spirit and he does have this great sense of adventure and represents that real sense of fun and happiness. The salamanders on his tunic they represent fire and transformation and the orange of his leggings kind of stand for um, vitality and courage. And although the environment that he's standing in seems quite dry and barren, the page of ones, he really believes in himself and his abilities and because of his love for adventure and he can find um, potential and make things happen wherever he goes, he can do that even in the most unlikely places. All the pages in tarot are messengers and they usually bring with them good news. So his message or advice might be to follow his lead and to jump into new adventures and the things that you're passionate about wholeheartedly. He is someone who is talented. He knows what to do. He's passionate. He's ambitious and he's full of hope with regard to succeeding at whatever he does. And he's really willing to start a new journey with a big leap of faith to do that. Maybe the new beginnings energy that we're in right now will inspire you to begin a new adventure or a new journey, or maybe something's calling you. So his advice then is to connect with your inner self and your originality and your talents and your abilities, and to really go out and carve out this unique path. Go and let your ideas shine and create your own kind of success in the world. 
the pages in tarot also represent fresh young energy but they tend to lack the wisdom of experience so compared to kings or some of the characters that you see in tarot of older men with white beards they have like that wisdom of experience and the pages are kind of like they're much more young and naive uh, but they're less jaded as well so the less helpful traits of the page of wands is that he might be a little bit immature and impatient and he could lack the focus to follow through and he also may have a fear of the unknown if he lets his fears get to him he could sabotage himself by letting himself get easily distracted by other ideas or he might get discouraged and just fail to take action so his ideas may just end up remaining ideas on a collective level this brand new chapter is here for us all to move into but together we hold a lot of fears as the planet and our social structures go through such big shifts we all need to purge and release these fears that sabotage the page of ones and clear them from our collective human psyche so that we can all move forward together. So if you feel something is holding you back or you've got wonderful ideas but you're failing to follow through on them or you're feeling very tired or you are experiencing illness that just doesn't seem to go away or it keeps coming back or is coming out of the blue or you're being triggered a lot or you know anything that is coming up like this, this is all part of the clearing process. It's the stuff that comes to the surface in order for us to let it go. And we're, we're not just doing it for ourselves, we're doing it for the collective. So the page of one's message is to really be willing to face these inner saboteurs head on. Don't avoid them. Discover what you need to do in order to succeed and make a plan of action that will really help you to create the freedom and the future that you desire. And don't let any immaturity or fear within yourself derail you or stop you from accomplishing anything that you set out to achieve as with every tarot card in the deck the court cards they could represent aspects of ourselves but they often represent other people so these are people who come into our lives who who maybe we already know them or we haven't even met them yet um, but the page of wands he could stand for someone who could bring both the positive and the negative aspects of this card into your life. It could be someone who's very charismatic and charming with heaps of creative passion, might be full of enthusiasm and big ideas that, and, the, and someone that really inspires you to get going on your own projects, your own purpose, or maybe to collaborate together on something. If this is happening for you, if this, if that part of this card resonates and you do decide to do something with this person who may have come into your life, just be careful not to get pulled in and swept off your feet by charm alone. Be really optimistic, but say, stay circumspect, stay centered in your own energy, stay grounded, and don't allow yourself to be manipulated into anything that sounds too good to be true, because it probably will be. You know, they might also represent someone in your life who can talk the talk, but it, it, they might be a bit of a dreamer and tend not to take the required action to make things happen or they might have a whole lot of unconscious fears or lack experience which might stop them from following through so if you're collaborating with this kind of a person in some way just be clear with your boundaries and your expectations uh, of you know whose responsibilities are what uh, or it could lead you to taking on too much but if you do take care, it could be a really fun ride with this person where everything just plays out in the best way. So that's it for the page of ones. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if it resonated with you today, then do please leave me a comment below and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.